the morning. It's 8.40 a.m. And I am an hour and 20 minutes early for work. I got up this morning at 6 o'clock. I left my house at 7. I drove an hour in traffic on pretty much empty to a place I'd never been before using directions that I had to get off the internet that I couldn't print, that I had to write because my printer was giving me shit this morning. Thought for sure I was going to run out of gas, but no. What happened was I missed the turn. So I made a U-turn thinking, oh, I'll just turn from the other direction. Nope, can't turn from the other direction. Had to get back on the highway and go six or eight minutes one way out of the way until I could get back down to a place where I could turn around, turn around, drove back up, got there, missed the turn again, not the turn, the, the, made it onto the street, then missed the turn into the building, had to pull another U-turn, got back, got parked, got inside, finally found the place, because, you know, it's kind of hard to find in the building. I'm sorry, she has a phone call to make at 8.20, that'll last an hour, you're going to have to reschedule. My interview was for 8.00. I got there at 8.15. Yes, I understand I was late, but our interview was going to be 20 minutes long, and that's it? What the fuck? I don't think so. That was punishment. That was punishment for being late. And you know what? I don't want to work at that place. I don't believe that I will be calling to reschedule that interview. What the fuck? Never been there before. Missed a turn. Got late. Maybe she expected me to call, but I don't have a cell phone to call her. The fuck? Yeah, so I've had a shitty morning. I did get gas. Used all the cash that I have, but I have gas now. So now I just have to figure out something to do for the next hour and 20 minutes. I'm probably just going to go into work early. I don't think they'll mind. You know, I'd rather do that. Go in at 9 then find something to do for the next, you know, hour and 20 minutes. <sighs> you know, I understand that things happen at a certain time, but I, I just think that was a lie. I mean, you know, I can understand. I'm sorry we won't see you. You're late. And I knew driving over there somehow, I just knew I was going to be late. And, you know, I nothing I can do about it. I, you know, doesn't mean I'm going to be late all the time. It was the first time I'd ever been there. Ever, ever been there. And I missed the turn. Woman didn't tell me, oh, by the way, if you missed the turn, you can't make a U-turn. Nothing. Just said, here's the address. No indication that it might be kind of hard to get there. Yeah. That's one spaghetti application that's just going to get thrown away. Because that, that... Oh, and for the record, I am not keeping the job that I started on Saturday. I called her last night and told her. And um, it's just not the place for me. Without getting too much into it, what she wanted me to do was essentially babysit her uh, adult child who has a developmental disability and behavioral issues and physical uh, d disabilities uh, with a sort of ignore the behaviors and they'll go away approach. So when she hits you, you just act like it didn't happen. When she throws a fit and runs over your foot, you act like it didn't happen. Now, if you know me and know me at all, you know every emotion I'm feeling shows on my face. So there is no way that I'm going to let somebody hit me and act like it didn't happen. Because frankly, it's not okay to hit people. Whether you've got a behavioral problem or not, it's not okay. So yeah, I won't be keeping that job. But she's going to pay me for the day that I was there. So woohoo, a little extra money. And uh, I'm still going to just look for a new job. And I've still got my current job. They're, they're, they're happy to keep me. And I'm happy to keep working here and bringing some money in. So I'm not going to starve to death. I mean, you know, I don't have any food or any money to go to the grocery store. But, you know, that's okay. I could stand to lose a few pounds. I got a comment the other day that called me a fat girl. I'm like, oh my god, I'm fat? Oh shit, I had no idea. Fuck you. Anyway. <laughs> This has been one angry rant from Ruthie in the morning. All right, I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to let you guys go. Like, we're on the phone together. We're on the phone. Yeah, you know who I like to talk to most on the phone, people? You. I like to talk to you. Anyway. All right, I hope you guys are having a better day than I am. 
and uh, I will post this when I get home so yeah oh and be sure to check out my last questions video I would love to get some video responses for that it's been a dang long time I think I looked it up it was like four months the last one I did was in December so uh, have a good day guys bye Mm-hmm. <laughs>